going to be about Invisalign and most of you already know that I got Invisalign and I have it on now so you might notice a lisp uh, when I talk because I'm only on week two so it's still very tricky for me to talk with them but I think I'm getting a lot better. Uh, I wanted to make this video because when I was deciding on getting Invisalign, it was extremely helpful for me to research some YouTube videos about it. It just helps you make a more informative decision. Um, getting Invisalign, it's costly, so it's not something that you can take very lightly. Um, you have to make sure that you're ready for it, um, both psychologically and um, financially. So. I also want to show you, you know, what my Invisalign look like, what I need to carry with me now that I have Invisalign, how my routine has changed, um, my dental hygiene has changed, everything pretty much that I have now with Invisalign, just give you, you know, like a good picture of my journey so far. So first let me start off by telling you why I got Invisalign. Um, up until I was 17 years old, my teeth were perfectly straight. Um, I never wore regular traditional braces as a child. I was very fortunate to have impeccable teeth. They were completely straight. I would get asked all the time if I had used braces and I was always saying no, like they were my natural teeth. I was just very blessed with naturally straight teeth. Um, Little did I know that that could change. And when I was around 17, um, my wisdom teeth, all four, started coming in. Or actually, I don't even remember them coming in. Usually they say it's very painful. I don't remember. All I remember is around like 18 years old, when I was 18, going to the orthodontist because my teeth were starting to get a little crowded. And I was like, what's happening? You know, I've always had straight teeth and now all of a the sudden they're starting to get crooked. I don't know why. So what he did was he looked at my mouth and he was like, well, you have all your wisdom teeth, all four, and your mouth is too small for them. So we need to extract them because after they did x-rays, they also realized that they were compacted. So they had to be removed anyway. After I removed them, which I was very thankful, it was covered my, by my insurance, um, they removed them, but your teeth, once they're in that position, they naturally go this way, they never go the opposite way. So even though now I was left with, you know, the space in the back, they don't go back. Um, and honestly, getting braces was not a priority on my list. I was going to school. I had a ton of bills, um, trying to pay for my tuition, and trying to save up for a house. It was just not a priority. So I actually promised myself once I graduated um, that that would be like my gift. Um, I really didn't want regular braces. I feel like I'm not 15 anymore. It doesn't look cute having, you know, regular braces. And I figured if I am a candidate for Invisalign, because not all people are candidates for Invisalign, you may just be a candidate for traditional braces and not Invisalign. Um, but I figured if I am a candidate for Invisalign, I'm definitely going to go for that. And I feel like at one point I even thought, if I'm not a candidate, I'm not going to get regular braces. I'm just going to forget about it. But just because, not that there's anything wrong with regular braces, it's just that I'm already 26, almost 27. Um, I just didn't want to do that. Um, so I went to the um, dentist. Mine is actually not an orthodontist. She's like a what do you call them? Um, I don't know what you call them. She's like qualified under Invisalign to be a provider. Um, so I went to her and she said I was a candidate. Um, right that day, they did my molds, which is like a very gummy, like glue consistency. 
and they have moldings, they fill it in, then they put it in your mouth. Super uncomfortable, it doesn't taste good. And then they make you hold it until it dries up and then they actually have to rip it apart so you actually feel it. It's not painful, it's just uncomfortable. Um, and then with, this, with the moldings of your teeth, what they do upper and lower, they send it back to Invisalign and that's where um, they come up with your entire treatment, um, your trays and all that. Um, two um, weeks later, I got a call for my dentist, but it was actually Thanksgiving. So with Black Friday and the weekend, I kind of lost like four days. Um, so I only ended up going to pick them up on Monday. She gave me my first pair, which is the one I have now. And at that point, she put them on. It was fine. Everything fit fine. Um, and she said, um, I was going to wear them like that for a week. And even though I needed buttons, she was going to do that a week later. She didn't want me to leave the office with like extremely like with an extreme amount of pain. So she said uh, she was gonna do a week of adjustment just with the first tray and no buttons, none of that. And then I needed to go back a week later and get my buttons put in um, and do some spacing. I mean, I'm gonna have to say, as soon as I left the office, I had no pain. I actually felt like, why didn't she put the buttons right away? I wanna get this thing started. Um, however, Three hours later, started getting super painful, and it was very painful for the first first three days. It was really painful. So now I understand why she didn't want to add, like she didn't want to add the buttons because it was going to be even more painful. I went back and she added all the buttons. I have. She told me I have ten. Technically, if you count them, it's 12, but she doesn't count the ones that are on the same tooth, and I have two of those, so they're 10. Um, she doesn't believe in putting them at the front, so I don't have any at the front, which I'm happy about because when you have the buttons here at the front, it makes it look like you're wearing regular braces, just like with the invisible elastics. But I have them in the bottom, at the top, um, what else? So she did that. It wasn't as bad as I thought. She has to glue it. Uh, she did it pretty quick. Then she has to buff everything down because, you know, after she's done, you feel every single thing and it's very gritty. So she buffed everything out. Um, and then she had to do some spacing. And I was super scared about that because spacing is for, she has to create space between certain teeth so that they actually have space, the ones up, up at the front, to go back. But it's not fun. It's, it, it was kind of painful at some points, but nothing that you can't like handle. It's more uncomfortable than anything else. And what gets tricky though is once you have that big spacing that you didn't have, even after I was brushing my teeth, um, and after that, I was flossing. I noticed when I was flossing, a lot of stuff was still in there. And it's very easy to get infections that way. She gave me, because I live kind of far away, I'm going to have, so this is still set one. I did one week without the buttons, another week with the buttons. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, and then, um, so... I'm going to switch to my second set um, in two days. So it's going to be tighter and that's, you know, and then I'm going to wear this for two weeks. And then she gave me my third set. So two weeks after I start the second tray, which is December the 30th. This one's uh, December the 16th. You see then, four out of 18. That's because I'm going to need um, 18 total. I'm actually going to need 18 at the bottom, 18 trays, and you wear each tray, each set for two weeks. Um, so that's nine months. Um, and I need only 16 at the top. My top ones are not nearly as bad. Um, in fact, if both my 
upper and lower teeth look like my upper ones, I wouldn't even go through this trouble. It's just my lower ones were getting pretty bad. And even though all of you, you know, said, you know, you already have perfect teeth, because the way I speak and when I smile, I don't really show the lower ones. Um, yeah, you really don't, it's not like I have a super crooked smile, but I know they're not straight and it bothers me. And food gets stuck there a lot more easily and I'm just not happy with it. So I have these. When I switch to tray four, uh, set four, um, on January the 13th, I'll wear it for two weeks and then I'll see my dentist. I think I have an appointment with her January 27th. And that's when she'll give me, I think, another two sets. And she'll see how things are going, if my teeth are moving the way they should. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do more spacing at that point. Um, um, let me just show you my initial case. It looks like this. Um, it just has cleaning instructions. I um, actually have this one. That was my first tray um, baggie looks like this and then the spacing is because these things come in here and these are just the containers that you take when you take out your Invisalign to eat you just put them in here mine's kind of wet because I was brushing my teeth so you stick them in here so the only tricky part with Invisalign is well with traditional braces you have to avoid certain kinds of foods. You don't with Invisalign because you can remove them. The tricky part is you should keep them on 22 hours a day. That leaves two hours a day to eat. I was the type of person that I was eating six to eight meals a day because that's always how I've eaten my meals. And now I've had to change that because it just doesn't leave me enough time. Having to eat, then floss, brush, floss, then put them back. It was just going to go over my time. So right now, I'm eating breakfast, lunch, a snack in the afternoon, and dinner. So I pretty much roughly give myself 30 minutes for each, which totals two hours, and I have to allow some time to brush because brushing, flossing, doing all that can take up to 10 minutes. So meals are more like 20 minutes, which is very not that long at all. Um, it's pretty easy to clean. What I've been doing recently is after, you know, whenever I want to eat, I remove my Invisalign and then I just add them to this Tupperware and I just have some mouthwash and I leave it there soaking while I'm eating and then when I go upstairs to brush my teeth, I just brush them with a regular toothbrush underwater and usually that's enough. If they're getting kind of like stained, I'll just grab some baking soda or some regular toothpaste and it's, it works. I mean, you only use each tray for two weeks. So even if they start getting kind of dingy at the end, who cares? You're going to switch it. But I'm, I have one more day, one more day with mine and I feel like they're super clear still. Um, my toothbrush is the same one and I feel like it's, now more than ever, I'm so happy that I have it, even to clean all the attachments. It just makes it so easy to have like an electrical toothbrush. I also buy the brush that has the yellow flossing sides. I feel like this cleans a lot better um, and I love it. Then the toothpaste I'm using right now is the Optic White. This is my favorite toothpaste of all times, definitely. Definitely makes a difference in your teeth. Um, and how white they are. Now, carrying it with me now, I have to make sure I have my kit because, um, you know, if you're eating outside the house, you can't put your Invisalign back on without brushing your teeth. So all I have really, have this kind of, um, and I have a blog post, and I've been updating my blog with pictures. So if you're interested in doing and seeing all the pictures, head over to my blog. I just decided to make this video to kind of give a little bit more information. Um, but this is what I carry. I have a mirror. I have a portable toothbrush like this. I actually got this at the container store. Um, but actually I've added some links in my blog post. There are ones by Colgate. 
that you can get on Amazon for a lot cheaper and I feel like the bristles are a little bit better. So then I have one of these like mini Colgate toothpaste. These are the ones that the dentist gives you when you go for a dental cleaning. And then I have some floss. Floss, now more than ever, is super important. I admit, I used to be kind of a slacker with flossing. No, I'm not because, you know, it really makes a difference. You definitely don't want to leave any bacteria or food because then when you put your Invisalign back, there's like no saliva or anything that will clean it up. So you are very prone to cavities. Um, now with the buttons, it's just a little bit painful when I'm eating. Not now, but because I have them on, but when I remove them, they kind of like rub against your gums. I do have to say that's a little bit painful, uh, but other than that, I'm getting used to it. I still have a huge list, but it's improving. Uh, so yeah, I think it's definitely getting better. And yeah, I feel like that's it. I can't remember anything. This is what they look like. Not sure if you can see. Let me just show you how easy it is to take them off. It's a lot harder now that I have the buttons or the attachments, um, but still it's like easy once you get you know the hang of it. The only thing is that having a manicure with these Invisalign has been like a nightmare. I really like don't even feel like painting my nails that much because a day or two later from trying to take them off, they start getting like all chipped. So this is how I remove the top ones. I just go on each corner inside all the way in the back. I do this. This one comes off very easily. And mine are actually full of lipstick and lip gloss. That's the other thing. Lipstick get, kind of gets stuck in them like very easily. But then you can just brush it off with baking soda and it's fine. This is what it looks like. This is me without them. The bottom ones are the tricky ones. So yeah, hope I don't have any spit falling. So this is what it looks without Invisalign. This is what they look like. So yeah, and then putting them back on, it's super easy. Just do this. I don't even need a mirror or anything. That's it. And granted, these are like a lot looser because I'm almost switching to another tray. I feel like they're not even doing anything anymore, even though they might be. But um, in two days, I'll be switching to another tray. When I was trying to remove them like a day later after I switched, um, had the buttons put on, it was super painful. And especially when your teeth are very sore. No, they're not sore anymore. Okay, guys. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed my update and my video about Invisalign. Again, let me know if you have any questions and I will be glad to answer them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out my blog as well. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And all of you who are subscribed, thank you so much for all the support you've been giving me. I so very much appreciate it and I love you all. So thanks so much for watching and I will be talking to you very soon. Bye guys.